Hi, I'm Dorian from Dorian Think to Success. In this video, I'm gonna cover the five common mistakes that I see every week when we run our courses. Stay to the end and I'll give you two bonus tips. In this video, I'm gonna list the five common mistakes that I see week in, week out when we run our courses. So the first one is the pupils not going with a safe option. The theory test is no different from the driving test. The examiner looks for a safe or controlled outcome on your driving test, depending on the situation. The theory test is the same. The theory test promotes road safety. It's never gonna leave you in a dangerous situation. They want a safe outcome or a controlled outcome. You're also looking for a common sense answer depending on the question. Now, with the course that we run, the pupils never go for a safe option, even though it's got it in the answer. A little tip for you. If it's got safe, safety, safely in the answer, you need to shortlist it as a possible answer. It doesn't always work, but you need to shortlist it as a possible answer. So I'll give you a question that comes up week in, week out, and this is what the people choose. So if you look on my screen, it says, what does eco-safe driving achieve? Most pupils will go for increased exhaust emissions or increased fuel consumption. They either go for one of those two. But if you read the question again carefully, it says, what does eco-safe driving achieve? The correct answer is improved road safety. Eco-safe, improved road safety. It tallies. So that obviously is the correct answer. And that's what you want to be looking for. Sometimes in the questions, there's little clues, but you just need to break it down in a bit more smaller chunks to work it out. So that's the first one. Not going for a safe option or a common sense answer. The second most common mistakes that I see week in, week out, is pupils memorizing the answer. Now, I know you need to pass the theory test to um, take a driving test, basically, and some pupils do cram lastminute.com, um, which is not the way to do it. You really want to understand your stuff. Memorizing the answers is not a good practice because um, the theory test has about 1500 questions give or take on a database and this one question could be worded three four different ways and when it's worded differently it gives you a different answer sometimes or the same answer but it can confuse you because if you memorize it as a b c d and the answer is e f g so when the question is now worded h i j you now get thrown off and I'll give you an example. So again, on this one, it says, what's the national speed limit on the motorways for cars and motorcycles? So national speed limit on the motorway for cars and motorcycles, it's 70 miles an hour. So the pupils memorize that and memorize motorways. But when this word is slightly different, and now this question says, what's the national speed limit for cars and motorcycles on the dual carriageway? The pupil now gets thrown off because they memorize it as motorways. But it now says dual carriageway, so they go for a different answer. And this is common, they normally go for 50 miles an hour on our tests, on our courses. It's the same question, believe it or not. It's exactly the same question because a motorway is a dual carriageway or a dual carriageway is a motorway. That's why you need to know your stuff. So try to understand it rather than trying to memorize it. It may seem easier to memorize, but it's better to understand it because it can give you a stronger knowledge foundation for your theory test, but it's also gonna make you stronger for your driving lessons, stroke driving test on the big day. The third mistake that pupils make is not watching the videos more than once. You can replay the video, so you're looking for information. So my advice is always watch the videos more than once. Um, if you're watching this example, the question says, why should you take care driving past the man with the cane? Did you see that? So let me just open up the app a little bit wider. Um, let's just rewind that back. So why should you drive carefully past the man with the cane? Again, I'll just replay it again. Most pupils put because he's blind. Now, if you watch it back, and if I freeze at the right time, you can see two colors there. 
red and white which means two colors two disabilities so this answer would be that he's deaf and blind and that's why you should watch the video more than once even if you know what the answer is just double check it it's going to cost you nothing to watch it more than once but it can cost you the theory test if you don't the fourth one common mistake is pupils reading the questions or answers too quickly not picking out the little bits of information that's in there so for this example this question says an injured person has been placed in the recovery position the unconscious but breathing normally what else should be done most pupils will go straight for press sorry put their arms by their side because they're in a recovery position they feel they've got to put their arms by the side but if you break the question down and read it carefully an injured person has been placed in the recovery position they're unconscious but breathing normally what what else should be done what you want to be doing is checking that airways remain open because they're in a recovery position they can still swallow their tongue or stop breathing so you want to re check and that the airways remain open but if you read it too quickly don't see the bits where it says what else should be done and then relate to the question so read the question carefully read the answers carefully my advice is still go through all the answers a B, C, D. If I was doing this test, as much as I know the first one is the correct one, I would still go through B, C and D because sometimes there's a bit more information in the others and sometimes it may be law or rules and regulations and if that's the case, that's the ones you really want to go for because the theory test is about the highway code basically. So um, read the questions carefully, break, take out the little nuggets in it and then read the answers carefully. Don't read it too quickly. Remember, you have 57 minutes. Why do you want to rush it? The biggest mistakes that I see um, on the course week in, week out, number one, without a doubt, is lack of knowledge. Um, the amount of people that turn up to our course who's never studied the theory test, looked at a book, or downloaded the app. If you are going to download the app, I would recommend the Driving to Success. I'll leave a link in the description below and go for the paid version, not the free version. Um, but on our courses, like I said, they do four days intensive in ferry training and then take their ferry test on the fifth day. And they do go on to pass because they've got four days and they've got me helping them. Obviously, you guys, if you're coming in last minute, you won't have me helping you. But I can help you if you put um, your questions in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it. But lack of knowledge. You need to study, but there's two ways of studying. They're studying to pass the theory test and they're studying and understanding the theory test. And if you understand it, you're passing anyway. But if you just cram just to pass it, i.e. memorizing the answers, similar to the mistakes I've mentioned previously, you probably will pass the theory test, but your knowledge is going to be weak. Um, and there's two things with that. If your knowledge is weak, when you go for your driving lessons, your instructor is now going to spend more time with you at the side of the road to fill in the gaps because there will be gaps in your driving and it will show. So if your knowledge is strong, he spends less time talking to you because you know your theory stuff so you can spend more time driving and doing putting things into practice. And also on the big day, remember you're on your own so the examiner's not asking you any questions, he's not prompting you. So he's going to see if you know your road signs, your road markings, how to do with yellow junction boxes and stuff like that. So your knowledge needs to be strong. And my advice is study, study, study. Knowledge is a powerful thing. Um, there's books, there's apps, there's YouTube, you're watching this on YouTube so you know there's help out there. But as I said, if you need any help, advice, um, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you. The other thing I will do, bonus tips, if you suffer from dyslexia, we have a lot of pupils coming in our course who's got dyslexia or can't read and write properly. Um, there's no embarrassment in that. Once they notify me, basically, because not everyone tells me on day one, I, I notice this as we go through the week, there's an issue, and I discuss it with them on a one-to-one -one basis, then they do sort of let me know. Um, use headphones, get the voice over. If you haven't, if you've got a fairy test book and you didn't order headphones at the beginning, not a problem when you turn up, ask them for voice over. They will set it up with you. You probably have to wait a little bit longer, but they will set it up with you. But if you haven't booked your fairy test yet and you're looking to book one, make sure you book headphones funds if you struggle with reading of any type kind um, the other one is flagging answers up 
if you're not sure what the answer is, um, flag it, move on. Because if you know and you're confident that you know the other 49, 48, you're passing anyway, so there's no point stressing over one or two answers that you don't know. But flag it, then go back to the flagged ones and then work backwards. There's always one stupid answer on there anyway, so you can eliminate that and then work your way that way. But um, also go to your gut instinct. Your gut says you're right. Sometimes you talk yourself out of it. If you studied properly, you, your brain's picking up information. You just don't know it. Um, and it sort of knows what's correct, but you talk yourself out of it. So go with your gut instincts when you answer the question, unless you know for sure you really made a mistake with the answer. And then obviously go back and change it. But if you've clicked A, for example, and you think mm, A is correct, don't talk yourself out of it. Leave it as A and then go from there. But I'd like to wish everyone the best of luck with their theory test. I hope this video helps. If it did, like, comment and subscribe. I'm Dorian from Dorian Think to Success and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.